Hey, Tomer, this video is for you. Um, we're going to discuss VXLAN over ADVPN or SD-WAN, whatever you want to call it. Um, so what we're going to do is create a VLAN uh, 555 on branch two and create that exact same VLAN on hub number one, same subnet. Um, so let's go ahead on hub number one. Uh, so first things we need to do is basically create a loopback address. Let's call it uh, loopback the XLAN. Let's loop back address here. It's going to be 9.9.9.1. This is the hub, and it's a slash 32. Go ahead and allow ping across that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is config system VXLAN. Edit VXLAN 555. Set VNI of 555. Set interface to be that loop back. Um, yeah, that looks good. Oh, sorry. Doesn't look good. Config VXLAN. Edit VXLAN 555. Set VNI 555. Set interface loopback VXLAN. Set remote IP is going to be 9.9.9.2, which is going to be the other end of the tunnel. Okay. Now we're also going to come in here and create a VLAN interface. So VLAN 555. It's a VLAN interface is going to be hanging off of the LAN port, which is the inside of our network, 555. And then we're going to bundle that loopback address and that VLAN into a software switch. So interface uh, switch 555, software switch. We're going to bundle those two together, VLAN and the VXLAN, and then assign the 5.5.5. .5 .5 this is the hub, so one, and that's a slash 24. We're gonna allow ping to that. Okay, so theoretically, we're done with the hub. Um, let's go ahead and do the, the spoke. So again, we're gonna create a loopback interface, loopback VXLAN. Oh, it's actually, it might already be there. Yeah, loopback VXLAN, here we are. Loopback VXLAN of 9.9.9.2. Okay, let's drop to the CLI, config system, VXLAN. Uh, edit VXLAN 555, set VNI 555. Um, set interface loopback VXLAN. Set remote IP of 9.9.9.1, which is the other end of the tunnel, or the VXLAN. Okay, next we're gonna come in and create that new VLAN. VLAN 555, it's a VLAN, and we're gonna tie that to the LAN interface port. VLAN ID is 555. Now again, we're gonna create that switch on this side. Interface switch 555 is a software switch. We're gonna bundle those two interfaces together, give them an IP 5.5.5.2 slash 24, that subnet. There we go, that should be what we need. And then on the SD-WAN, we need to make a rule to allow that loopback address to come through this, uh, the, uh, the ADVPN rules, we're adding the 9.9.9.0. That should be good. So let's go ahead and ping um, from, let's see, execute ping 5.5.5. Actually execute ping dash options, repeat, uh, let's repeat it 400 times. Okay, execute ping 5.5.5.1, which should be the other side. So there we go, we're pinging our subnet here. Now if we do a uh, get router info routing table all 5.5.5, that is a directly connected subnet. So that's a layer two subnet. That should not be leaving this 40 gate. But since we have VXLAN, it's extending that layer two subnet across to the other side. So let's go ahead and get that ping going again. And if you remember, the rule set, the rule set we have says take WAN one unless the latency is over 120 milliseconds. So let's go ahead and create the latency of 222. 
we should see it pop up here. And then the ADVPN SLA is gonna kick in, realize that's over uh, 120 milliseconds and it should pull us back down to the secondary link, which we see it just did here. The secondary link is 22 milliseconds. So now if we revert that, or rather let's normalize it, the ADVPN, which is the underlying network, the layer three network that's routing all the traffic between all the sites and allowing that VXLAN to, uh, to uh, be configured, um, it should realize that uh, we have a better path now that has gone back into SLA and there we are. We're back, uh, we're back normalized. Um, so there we go. That proves uh, layer two VXLAN uh, across ADVPN. Cheers.